Hey guys, what's up? Today in this video, we're gonna try, well, we're gonna try one of these two new sprays from the Red by Kiss collection. We have a maximum hold and we have an extreme hold. Now, which one am I gonna try? Mm, decided on the maximum hold. So today's video is sponsored by RPG Hair. So we have the Skin Melted HD Lace and the hairline is upgraded. It looks amazing okay like this is as natural as natural gets okay it looks so good it is pre-plucked and it has nice thin hairs in the front which makes it look more scalp like now i just put on a stocking cap no ball cap method here ladies if you want to do that you can totally do that but for me this works best and yeah so here's the hair it looks so good let's go ahead and do a close-up on each side so you can see how just realistic that looks and I'm gonna go ahead and install this wig now I did lose a little bit of footage I don't know how but I lost some so I'm a little sad about that we're gonna basically just go ahead and spray the spray onto the wig like we do any other spray now for extra extra hold I did go ahead and make a couple of parts and then kind of just spray a little bit behind the hairline just to make it a, a you know even more of a maximum hold Okay, so now for the fun part, we've cut all the lace off and it looks a little scary right now. It's crusty, but don't worry, we'll fix it. I like to use micellar water because I feel like it's a little bit, it's less harsh on the skin than alcohol and get a paper towel or, you know, a washcloth and just really go ahead and clean off any excess of where the spray might have gotten. Now, once you've done this, the way to get the crust away is just like how we do with any other spray. We just spray more and then use your finger to either wipe it in or you can go ahead and use a rat tilt comb and a blow dryer to give it a seamless melt. Okay, so this is where you should be at now. It looks so good and it's like melted into the skin. I love the lace. This new updated lace from RPG here. Oh, baby, this looks so good. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just focus on my baby hairs and my hairline. Now, I just like to keep it natural as you guys, if you guys know me, it's going to always look natural, okay? I really do big, huge baby hairs. Actually, I don't think I ever do it, but I do like these little two corner ones. These are like my favorite ones. So we're going to keep that. Okay, um, in the meantime, go ahead and watch me do my hairline and perfect it. So now it's time for styling. Now this is usually my favorite part when it comes to doing my hair or doing like any hairstyle, especially a wig, because I feel like this is where the creativity portion can flow and you can kind of like, you know, you're closer to the end result. So I'm just basically just hot combing the hair from left to right to kind of like train the hair to be able to have 
more movement instead of being stuck into just a middle part i knew i was going for a curly look so i brung out my extra skinny curly wand and went ahead and did cur wand curls all around the head now i would honestly suggest that if you're gonna do this hair you should wear it one of two ways curly or wavy i don't really care for it straight that's just my preference but i love the way it looks because the hair mimics you know um our type of hair so i feel like when it's like curly or in a wavy state it makes it look even much more like realistic so yeah that's just my little bit of advice and as you can see as i'm going through the curls and once i'm on the lace i'm using the hot comb or the wand to basically flatten down the roots okay we cannot forget about the roots on the lace we want it to be as flat as possible so that it looks natural and not puffy or anything Okay, so let's chit chat a little bit about this wig. So again, this hair is from RPG Hair. Now this wig is like a three in one wig. You can straighten it, you can wet it, and it naturally will shrink up into a nice pretty curl. So it can go from straight to curly to kinky. You can blow dry it, you can fly iron it, you can curl it, you can do anything you want to the hair so wigs like this are my favorite because it definitely is very versatile it's very good for a vacation if you like when i had that nice blown out look but then you also want it to be nice and wet and wavy and curly so you go on the beach or the pool and it still looks good so definitely a wig where you can get a lot of bang for your buck um i wanted to wear it like this where it was nice and curly and had a lot of body and here i am just basically opening up all the curls but there are so many things that you can do with this wig that I didn't really get a chance to show on camera because I honestly just, you know, wanted to show you guys a great end result. Um, as for the spray, it is not maximum hold. So if you're wondering about the spray, I would say it, I would say there are better sprays out there like an Eben um even gotta be glue has more of a firmer hold but if you really want a spray that is gonna basically be gone within a day or two on its own then this is the spray for you but if you are going to a hot a area with a hot climate really hot really humid this is not the spray i did wear this wig to the gym and ladies let me tell you before i even got to the gym the wig already had lifted so would i necessarily buy this spray again Probably not, just because I feel like I might as well just use Gotta Be Glue for all of that. But it was nice to try it out. Yeah. So I found this at my local beauty supply store. And I'm sure you can find it too at yours. Or I have the link down below for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.